Hey everybody, mom and dad here. On this episode of Fuel Eats, we're here to cook a turkey for our kids. Gobble gobble. Before we get started, we'll need a couple things. All right, let's get started. It might take a little more time, but this recipe calls for a brined turkey. This will make the turkey juicier and more flavorful. To make the brine, combine vegetable stock, salt, brown sugar, peppercorns, and allspice berries in a large stock pot over medium high heat. Stir occasionally to dissolve solids and bring to a boil. Then remove the brine from the heat and cool to room temperature. Mm. This may seem saltier than NA ranked, but fear not. Salt actually helps the turkey by drawing in the moisture. Next, take your thawed turkey. Remove the neck and giblets from the body cavity. You can either discard these or put them in a pan to help make your gravy. But in our case, we're not using them. You may see a small plastic piece. But fear not. It'll pop out when the turkey reaches a certain temperature and tell you when it's done. Since we're using a meat thermometer, we won't be using it. Just leave it alone. Yep. Next, pour your brine into your bucket or cooler. Place your thawed turkey into the brine, breast side down. Add water till the turkey is fully covered. Add ice. Then, refrigerate or set in a cool area for eight to 16 hours, turning the bird once, halfway through brining. That brings us to where we are now. <laughs> Next step is to empty out the brine and rinse the turkey. We're gonna drop this, Matthew. No, I believe in the power of friendship. Go! Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we're good. We're going easy. Mr. Turkey. Got him. You got it? Oh, I got him. What's our turkey's name? See? It's <laughs> Little OG. <laughs> Minsock. Minsock. Mm. Thorough rinse. Oh, we gotta rinse the inside out, remember? Yes, open up. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> now get your roasting pan and place the turkey in it. So the next step is to pat it down with some paper towels as this step. When we put it in the pan, we want to make sure the breast is up and the wings are tucked under the body. Now it's time to stuff this bird. We have an apple, half an onion, Rosemary, thyme, and sage. Onion. <laughs> this is not that easy. There's not that much space in there. Space. <laughs> Next, we're gonna coat this turkey generously with canola oil. Now it's time to turn on the oven. Hold on, Taz mom. After handling poultry raw, be sure to wash your hands thoroughly. Soak me up, baby. I got, got it. it. Make sure arm. you get all your arm too. Anything that's touched the turkey is dangerous. Also, it's very important to wash your surrounding area. That means the countertops, the sink itself. That way it doesn't contaminate anything when you are already clean. Before we put the turkey in the oven, we need to put the thermometer into the thickest part of the breast. Now we put the turkey on the bottom rack of a preheated 500 degree oven. Trying to burn myself. 30 minutes. After about 30 minutes, we're gonna reduce the temperature to 350 degrees. All right, and now we wait until the temperature on our thermometer is 161 degrees. Our turkey is about 12 pounds, so it'll take about an hour, 30 minutes. Now we wait. Do you remember that time? Boss room. I'm, I'm glad we're playing a single player game. All right, there's nothing wrong with Spider the Dragon. It's like, mate, pound square, it's not where I wanna be. Dun, 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 dun. 
Toasty. He's not burning glue though. <laughs> Our turkey's reached an internal temperature of 161 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's time to take it out. Always wear precautionary hand mittens. Voila. Now we're going to cover lightly, loosely, lightly, loosely, light, it doesn't matter, right? Now we're gonna cover the turkey loosely with aluminum foil for 50 minutes to let it rest. This step is important because it helps keep the juices inside the turkey when we cut it. Put the aluminum on there. Mm. Loosely. It's an audio nightmare. Important tip. If you're unsure whether or not this turkey is cooked enough, when you pull out the thermometer, the juices should run clear and not red. If it's red, then it's not cooked enough. Therefore, cook it more. Therefore, it's raw, and you don't want to eat raw meat. Ugh. Poultry. No. Bad. <laughs> now that the turkey's done, it's time to carve it, and we all get to experience Tazom's first time carving a turkey together. Easy clap. Start with these things, the legs. You just kind of, kind of give them a little cup, cup. Like, hello? Wait. And with the magic of television, carved. Ta-da. Delicious. It's time to feed our children. Children, come. Hey! What? Hey! Where's my phone? Give me. No, no, no. I give you food. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Good? Okay. okay, it's delicious. It's the best food I ever had in my life. It's, it's incredible. It's amazing. Effect, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Now that we've cooked our turkey, we want to see yours. Send us pictures and tag us at hashtag Fuel Eats. Also, if you enjoyed these videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on youtube.com slash Dallas Fuel. <laughs> Turning the bird once halfway through the prime lane. That breaks us to wear into your bucket. <laughs> No, next to the, oh, you do that. The next to your Brian, into your bucket. Oh, cool, look. And water until the turkey is fully covered. We're off camera. Oh, are we?